For centuries, humanity gazed at the moon and dreamed of what lay beyond its glowing face. But one half remained cloaked in mystery, the so-called dark side of the moon. A name that evokes secrecy and shadow, yet it's a misnomer. It's not always dark. It receives just as much sunlight as the near side. The real truth? It's simply the far side, forever hidden from our view because the moon is tidally locked, showing Earth only one face as it orbits. This far side remained a mystery until October 1959, when the Soviet Luna 3 spacecraft looped behind the moon and sent back the first haunting grainy images. The world was stunned. The far side was rugged, mountainous, and scarred, so different from the smoother, familiar near side with its dark basalt plains. There were almost no Maria, those vast lava seas that dominate the side we see from Earth. Why, that's still debated. Some theories suggest the moon's crust is thicker on the far side, preventing lava from breaking through after ancient impacts. For decades, the far side remained untouched, unreachable. But in January 2019, China's Chang'e 4 mission made history. It became the first spacecraft to land on the far side, touching down in the vast South Pole Aitken Basin, one of the largest and oldest impact craters in the solar system. Along with its rover, U-22, the mission began exploring this alien terrain, offering unprecedented insights into the moon's geology and deep interior, because the far side never faces Earth. Communicating with landers there requires relay satellites like China's Kuekiao, stationed beyond the moon. But these hurdles haven't stopped space agencies from dreaming bigger. Scientists now eye the far side as a prime location for future lunar bases. Why? It's radio quiet, shielded from Earth's constant chatter of radio waves. That makes it ideal for sensitive radio telescopes, capable of listening to signals from the earliest days of the universe, signals we can't detect from Earth's surface. Some even propose a permanent scientific outpost beneath the thick crust, protected from solar radiation, where humanity could conduct astronomy, study ancient lunar rock, and prepare for deeper missions to Mars and beyond. The moon's far side may have once been shrouded in darkness, but today it's becoming a symbol, not of mystery, but of possibility.